What's up everyone, my name is Alex Costa and I know a lot of you guys who watch my channel are teenagers, so today, this video is for you. We all know that people will judge you according to your style, right? So it's important that in your teenage years, you explore, you try different styles and find something that resonates with you, that makes you feel and of course look good. And that is why today, I have a list of the seven mistakes that teens usually make when it comes to style. Now, before I get into these mistakes, I am running a giveaway of over $2,000 in prizes that is completely free to enter. And I'm doing this because, well, I have a huge announcement soon that you don't wanna miss. This is a big one. And to enter, all you have to do is sign up to get notified about this announcement. It's the first link in the description below. And like I said, it's a free giveaway and uh, you know, $2,000 worth in prizes. So you can't go wrong. Good luck, the link is the first one here in the description. All right, buckle up because we are about to go over the seven style mistakes that every teen makes. Starting with number one, something that every teen makes, something that I used to do all the time is trying really hard to look older. Look, I get it. When I was a teen, I wanted to look like I was a little older, right? You wanna look like you're more mature, but there's a better way of doing that without trying really hard because people will see that you're trying too hard. Sometimes I see teenagers wearing button ups every day to school right or trying to rock a suit to school or just going for an older style in general and you know that's okay but I wouldn't really recommend because no matter how much you try to look older the truth is you're a teenager man and you should enjoy that part of your life you know you can wear a suit later right now it's time for you to have some fun to be a little bit more edgy to try new styles you don't want to be known as the kid who tries too hard. So dress according to your age. And when you're older, then you can rock those more professional looks. Now, I know that finding your own unique style as a teen can be tough, but please do not wear the same thing that all your friends are wearing because we all know that you're doing that just to try to fit in. Stop trying to look like everyone else just to impress other people to fit in. That's boring. It's pointless and trust me, it's gonna get you nowhere. There are so many different style options out there. It's so fun to be able to explore those. And you're gonna wear the same exact thing to school, just like every other person there, just like all your friends. So instead of looking like twins, like a boy band, how about you set the trends? Think about that. You start wearing what others are not, right? Which makes them ask you, hey dude, wh where did you get that? That's kind of cool. Damn, wh what is that? that? That looks really good. Is that a buttery soft t-shirt that fits you like a glove? You make them ask you, where'd you get those pants, man? Where'd you get those shoes? Instead of copying everyone else's style. That is how you stand out and that is how you find your own style. The next mistake on the list is having a boring hairstyle. When I went to school, you know, all these dudes, man, I swear they had the same hairstyle. It was horrible. They put in zero effort. It's just this hairstyle here every single guy. So I went and I changed my hairstyle. I got some good product at the time, you know, I thought it was good anyway. And I kid you not, I immediately had girls hitting on me. Like, girls were all over me. It happened like this. It was crazy. It was like I opened the door and I was like, this is, this is amazing, right? So come on guys, change it up, experiment. Let it grow, then cut it short, get some color in there. As you can, guys can see, I went a little bit darker. I'm, I'm playing around with it. Don't be one of those teens that have the same boring hairstyle all through your teenage years. Wearing some bad products like gel, cheap drugstore products that make your hair look like crap. And of course, if you're ready to have the best hairstyle in school, then you need to get your hands on Forte Series hair products. I guarantee the kids at your school will notice when you walk in with your new hairstyle looking extra fly and these products will do that. The hydrating oil is one of our best sellers and that's because everyone, and I mean everyone who tries this oil, they say the same thing. My hair feels amazing after I use this. It smells incredible. It's the perfect oil to apply to your hair after you shower. If you want extreme hold to keep your volume and your style up all day long, there is no product with better hold than the Forte Series Texture Clay. This is the type of hold that you're just not gonna find in any other product, I guarantee. And even though it has insane hold, you can still run your fingers through your hair. It doesn't leave your hair feeling hard and crispy. It feels soft and matte, not shiny, which is what I like the most. 
This is perfect for guys with thick hair. Then you have the molding paste, which has great hold, but is more flexible than the clay. It's easy to apply, it gives you a natural finish. It is perfect for guys with medium hair. And if your hair is a bit finer, then you have to try the brand new Forte Series hair cream in this beautiful white jar. I mean, we just launched this one, and as well as the pomade, Actually, they're both live now on our website. It's ForteSeries.com. If you're ready to be known as a guy with nice hair, then get the Forte Series products, and I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. I'm gonna leave the link to our website in the description below. It is the second link in the description below, ForteSeries.com. This next mistake is actually a waste of money. Buying jeans with designs all over them. And I'll tell you why it's a waste of money. When you have jeans with designs all over them, like rips, or stitching, or logos, people will notice those designs. Right then, that means that they will notice it when you wear those jeans two or three days in a row. Which by the way is normal. You can definitely wear jeans two or three days in a row. That is completely fine and hygienic. My advice is to get solid denim though, because that way you can wear them almost every day and no one's gonna notice. They're classic, simple, and they will match with more of your outfits anyway. So this is a no brainer. Classic solid jeans over designs 100% of the time. This next one, I kind of, I, I did it. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I did this, all right? I was growing some very patchy, weird facial hair when I was in high school. It just looked bad. It was like, it came all the way here, and then it kind of had some over here, it, it, and then a little bit of a mustache. It looked like I was trying really hard to look older. Again, it's kind of like the same mistake, mistake number one, I was trying to look older, and I was applying that not only to my style, but also to my facial hair. But the truth is, it makes it worse. It makes you look dirty, it makes you look younger, because it is very clear that you cannot grow facial hair. So why are you even trying? Shave it, shave it clean, man. I'm telling you, it's gonna look so much better. It's gonna look more professional. And then you might actually look older because of it. And I still have some friends in like 25, 26, and they are trying and I'm, I tell I tell them, I'm, I'm one of those friends, I'm like, dude, you should probably, you should just shave it. And I'm saying this, because I love you, man, but you should probably just shave that. What do you guys think? Honesty is better, right? Let me know in the comment section down below if you, if you prefer honesty or if you'd like the person to not say anything at all to you. Next up on today's list is wearing too many accessories or not wearing accessories at all. The thing is accessories can make or break an outfit. If you're wearing a lot of accessories, you're gonna look like a Christmas tree, you're gonna look like you're trying to deck out your fit, you're trying really hard to be edgy, you're trying really hard to be on trend, and you kind of miss the mark. You went too far. Now, if you don't wear accessories at all, then all of a sudden you're missing an opportunity. An opportunity to be on trend, an opportunity to look a little bit more edgy, an opportunity to look like you know style and that you're a stylish guy. So what is the middle ground here? What looks good when it comes to accessories? Well, it definitely depends. If you're wearing a suit, I would say go for just the glasses and the watch. That is all you need. The suit has enough details as is. If you're wearing a t-shirt and jeans, then you can add a bunch of accessories. You can go for a watch, you can go for rings, you can go for a hat, you can go for sunglasses. You can spice it up as much as you want, a necklace, because it's okay. The basic outfit is, like I said, basic. So you can add a bunch of accessories and it'll still look good. So know the power that accessories will have on your outfit for the good and for the bad. Now, this next one is something that I feel like a lot of teenagers go through and it's not knowing what you have in your closet because your closet's just too messy, right? When you're a teenager, like you're a little bit messy still. You don't care as much, right? You're not really used to being organized. You don't really have to be organized. Dude, organize your closet, I'm telling you. You're gonna see your clothes a lot better. You're gonna be able to see exactly what you have. Separate your clothing, right? Your jackets go here, your jeans go here, t-shirts there, underwear here. That way, you'll be able to put your outfits together. It'll be a lot easier. And, of course, your room is gonna look better, man. It's not gonna look like a mess, like a cave, right? And, all right, there's another point here. Your parents are gonna be happy, right? And that's a good thing because trust me, you don't wanna get yelled at because your clothes are all over the place. And you know, it happens when you're a teenager, it happens a lot. So this is a win, 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 win scenario. Organize your closet. You're gonna be able to put outfits together, right? You're gonna look good. Your parents are gonna be happy. Your room's gonna look amazing. Organize your closet. And guys, please, please, please check out the giveaway below. It is free to enter and we are giving away $2,000 in prizes. It's the first link in the description below. I cannot wait to show you guys what we're up to, man. I I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm, we, there's a lot. We're working hard over here and I just wanna say I appreciate all of your support. 
Thank you guys so much for the positive comments all over social media. I'm talking YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, all over. I really appreciate that. If you enjoyed today's video, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button below and join the YouTube family. You can also find me on TikTok and Instagram. It's at Alex Costa. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.